Today, we're going to have a demonstration with the Webhurst electrostatic generator. For starts, I power this with a ceiling fan motor because I didn't want to get too close to it when it's running. And the key to making these things work is to use plastic. Use any kind of wood and it will conduct the charge. There's my collector combs. Cap right now is set at two inches because I have some rather high capacitance flat plate capacitors. The plates are one eighth inch thick aluminum. There's my connection on the back. And now we'll start it up. The big defect with this is the flat plate capacitors arc over. I'll open up the gap a little bit. That's about four inch gap. Almost three and a half inch gap. As they open up the gap, those flat plate capacitors arc over. That's the big defect. So we're going to correct that right now. To try to correct that flashover problem, I made these assemblies. And on it, on each one, is 60 2.7 microfarad capacitors in series. And I just used copper wire. I made rings out of it, and that forms the corona shield or equal potential divider for this setup. So each one's 120 kilovolts. There are two, and there's the other one. And we'll have a demonstration. One quick shot of the back. Okay, we got a new capacitors on, and we'll open up the gap.
play the weight is a uh, eight inch gap. And that's about it. Eight inches, I guess. Then we got leaking elsewhere. A quick look at this assembly. My main point of coronal leakage is the outside edge. It's too thin. I have to put something on that. 